Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Libtribe brand, that's L-I-V-T-R-I-B-E. This is their AC 120 volt, 55 watt heated floor mat foot warmer pad, which simulated wood. And internally it has this unique carbon crystal heating pad. I wanna talk a little bit more about that. And this will heat up uh, an area on your floor in your home or your office to keep your feet warm in the winter time. Now typically your floor is right above your basement. Your basement stays at about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So your floor is typically about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you do a lot of work in your office or your home, your feet tend to get cold. And I didn't even think much about this. Now, I've got neuropathy on my feet and my feet were, I was going to bed with frozen feet. My wife, my wife would uh, jump out of the bed if I accidentally would touch her and I didn't think much about it, but it's not good for your neuropathy because you already have lack of cir circulation on your feet. Now you don't have to take your shoes off to use this. You can keep your shoes on, any type of shoe or a slipper. I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna wear just uh, my socks because that's what I wear when I'm working on editing videos. Uh, so this will um, heat up really quickly. There is a foot switch on it. We're going to plug this in and show that. So this has a nice long power cord on here. Power cord is 74.8 inches long and it has a, a USA plug on there. And it's got this nice round flexible power cable. I really like that because it's only pulling 55 watts, so it doesn't have to be a heavy cable like a toaster. To give you an idea, a toaster will draw 500 to 800 watts. So well, this is just a fraction of that. So it's not gonna cost you much to run this. So they have a nice, fl nice flexible cord in there. Um, I'm gonna plug this unit in right now so you can see the display. Now you notice I plugged it in and nothing happens yet. So you take your foot and you put your foot down for two seconds and it comes up with the temperature right there. It default, it went to 115. If you hit this again, it goes to 125, then 135, 145 is the most, then goes down to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. I can feel warmth already. Now on the bottom of this, it has, first of all on the side, it has this nice stitched material here. On the bottom it has contact information and wattage and power. And it has these little non-slip beads on there, so this won't slide around. If you have to move it with your foot, it does move easily, but as soon as you put pressure on there, it stays locked in place. Really nice. When you want to shut this off, you just hold it down for a couple of seconds, and it turns off just like that. Now, let's say you have it on, and you forget that it's on, and you go to sleep, but you're thinking it's going to be a hazard. It's not. This is going to shut off after a couple hours time automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's a nice safety feature they have, and also save your electric bill, which isn't much anyways on something like this. Now I mentioned that uh, that uh, graphene car carbon crystal. This it's a it's an electrothermal film. It's a heating translucent polyester film. Uh, it's done with a special conductive ink and it produces a polyester film that has contacts on its edges. And that's what's embedded inside here. That's what's giving it this warmth. And the advantage of that is that it's flexible. You don't have to worry about it cracking. You can bend this. It's not a traditional uh, heating element of ceramic or nichrome wire. Uh, so it's gonna be much more rugged. And again, it's only uh, 55 watts. And the temperature range of this, as I showed, was 85 to 145. The size of this is 12.6 inches this way by about 17 inches wide. So it's got a nice uh, size to it. We get it small enough where it's not going to get in the way. You could just put it aside for the summer months and just store it quite easily. So the size is portable and it can be used at home, taken with you to work also. So uh, I was getting cold on my feet, as I mentioned, and this I've just tried this now, and it's unbelievable. This 
material on here, including the stitching, is also flame retardant material so that you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and it's waterproof also and it's very wear resistant and also has insulation to it. So when you put your foot on this, as I'm feeling this, it doesn't feel hard. It's got a softness to it. And that way your foot is not getting uh, sore, you know, pushing on this. So it's a lot softer than actually what's on your wooden floor or your carpet. It's very similar. So it works really well. Now we're going to take some temperature measurements of this just so we can get an idea of how how to get. So I have it set to 115 degrees and I have one of these thermal guns right here. Let's see what it says and look at that, it matches it. So the temperature control on this is very accurate. If you increase the temperature by clicking it with your foot, it goes to 145. So let's just count out, it was at 115. Let's see if it increases. So you can so you you can see that it is you can see that it's rising the temperature and again it takes time to heat up something with the surface area but I can instantly feel how hot it got already on here. So here I have a watt meter, kilowatt meter, and I'm on watts and I'm on the highest setting, 145 degrees, and you can see it's steady at about 52 watts. That's what you'd expect in the highest setting. So that's not a lot of energy. That's only going to cost you a couple pennies, you know, a month. Uh, 50 watts is very little. As I mentioned, your toaster runs at 5 to 800 watts. Uh, so 50 watts is like having a, you know, a light bulb in a room on. And that's not bad because you're only going to be using this maybe four or five hours a day. So here I am by my PC and I have the Libtri brand the 55 watt heated floor mat keeping my feet warm now you can wear shoes as I mentioned but I like to be in my socks and I have it on the highest temperature to help with my neuropathy and it feels really good and it blends in nicely to the floor so that it doesn't really uh, stand out um, and so simple to operate you just use your foot to change the temperature or hold it down to turn it off just that simple so what's your overall opinion about the live tri brand their ac 120 volt 55 watt heated floor mat i like this product uh it feels really good on my feet i love the flexibility of it the non-slip the foot control works flawlessly it heats up very rapidly feels great on your feet you can't go wrong this is the only product i found anywhere on any platform that uh, has these features so it's a good value at the price it is i'm gonna give it a full five star rating on my channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll learn to new video uploads and if you like this review please hit the like button i hope the information i presented helps you with your buying decisions thank you for watching